welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing another best at the drugstore type videos. I have been doing these videos for quite a while now and I do have a couple already uploaded on my channel. I like to do this series um, since it's showing you out of everything I've tried, what I consider the best from the drugstore in a certain category. So I've already done like palettes, like highlighters, bronzers, and if you guys wanna see more of these types of videos, please let me know down below in the comments. So today we're gonna to be tackling primers. So I have all of my favorite top must have primers here in front of me to share with you guys. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of my favorite primers. I would recommend these to any of my friends or family and that's why I wanna recommend them to you guys because if you haven't heard about them yet, you definitely need to. So without further ado, let's just get right on into the video. There is an airplane flying overhead and it's making so much noise. All right, so the first primer I wanna talk about is a primer I've probably used since I started my channel, obviously not the same model but um this is one of my first primers i've ever bought and that is the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser personally this has been um one of my most used like silicone type pore filling um primer so if you don't know what this is it's basically like that very gel like silicone -y, um texture that's supposed to fill in your pores so that when you put on your makeup um, it applies smoother it's to fill in those lines and everything like that and this is a inexpensive primer of course um, comes with a 0.67 fluid ounces which I think is a pretty uh, decent amount just because I usually use a smaller amount of this primer than I would any other one because I don't actually apply it to my whole face I will just apply it into this cheek area on my forehead nose on my chin and stuff so just in that t-zone area just because you only need this where you have more enlarged pores you don't need this all over the face personally I was kind of on the fence about if I liked pore um, filling primers or not but this is one that doesn't clog my pores it doesn't make me break out or anything it's really nice it get, creates a smooth canvas and if you're looking for something like this um, this is a good one from the drugstore I'd say it compares a lot to the Smashbox photo finish these have a very very similar formula and if you're looking for a dupe for this one definitely go for this I had a similar one in my collection like the hard candy one but after using this for a while I realized that it made my makeup um, a little bit oily it was a bit too greasy for my liking and I have dry skin so I definitely go with the baby skin over the um, sheer envy uh, primer from hard candy but um, all in all I have been using this for a long time and it's a good pore filling primer if you want something that will really smooth out everything and create a nice base for your makeup next primer I'm gonna talk about is the Milani prime light face primer now this is one of the coolest primers i've ever tried if a primer can even be like that exciting so this one is a strobing plus a pore minimizing um primer and this is actually oil free so what's great about this primer right here is a lot of the times i have to mix primers i will go in with like a pore filling or a um, smoothing primer and then i'll go in with a hydrating luminous dewy type primer to create that dewy look when I apply my foundation over top. Um, so this one right here is a mix of those. So then you don't have to do a two step thing. You can just use this and have both effects, which is really nice about it. I love the undertone of this. Very, very beautiful. Leaves a gorgeous look, um, like a gorgeous dewy look onto your skin. And I love that about it. Um, I think it's one of the best primers I have used. It just makes your pores disappear. And a lot of the times when you use like dewy type primers it will really accentuate texture or pores or anything like that so the fact that this is pore filling smooths everything else then kind of has that um highlighting tone to it it it's good because then it doesn't exaggerate um pores and stuff and texture as much i think this would work for all skin types it's not too hydrating not too greasy just right so i love this one right here so next primer i'm going to talk about is the wet and mild primer so i do have two here and i have the old formula of their um matte primer so their new like repackaged one looks like this one just black and matte um, but the old one is the cover all primer. So this one right here I'll put a picture or something up on the screen so you guys can see what the new packaging of this looks like in case You're going out to purchase it and feel like you can't find it This is probably the most inexpensive primer that I have right here If you're looking just for a regular like primer, you're not really into the pore filling You're not really into the whole um, dewy like look a luminizing look and you just want a simple 
primer that you can apply will make your makeup last longer will make it apply smoother and make it easier to blend their new packaging claims for it to be a mattifying primer I don't think so I think it does have a nice like hydrating feel to it but not greasy and not super hydrating where someone with oily skin can't use it like it's definitely still all skin types but there's just something about it that gives this smooth base to your skin that's perfect for any other makeup you're gonna apply on top so if you're looking for a very simple primer to use this one right here is amazing and I would highly recommend it it just makes makeup look so much better on top and I love it um, and then to complement this one this is the photo focus um, dewy one so this one right here comes in the white packaging and this is a new product this claims to be a lightweight formula infused with vitamin E smooth skin for even makeup application the fact that it has vitamin E in it I love I honestly use like vitamin E oil like all of the time so I love that about this I love that um, what mom is trying to incorporate some good ingredients into their makeup and keeping it affordable that's awesome um, so this is a dewy illuminizing primer so when you apply this under your foundation you will have that um, dewy look come through um, through your foundation so I actually used both of these primers today I used this all over my face and then the dewy one under my foundation and I just went in with a regular like a natural finish foundation and my skin is a little little bit dewy I did use some powder and stuff I love wearing this on bare skin as well because it has a little bit of a tint to it where it just makes your skin look so healthy that glow from within type thing it's really really nice if you're going to the beach or in the summer where you don't really want to wear makeup but you want a little something this is really nice you can kind of mix it into your moisturizer too if you'd like or mix it into your foundation apply it over under I think this is a great great product and I'm really really in love with it um, sometimes dewy primers can feel a little bit heavy so the fact that this is more of a lightweight primer feels very light on the skin doesn't feel too harsh um, doesn't clog my pores or anything not only does this primer make your skin look fabulous and glowy and healthy and plump and everything but it is actually hydrating as well most dewy primers I've tried uh, simply like add a shine to your face but then they don't actually hydrate the skin in any way your skin may look like it's very hydrated but it may not feel like it is but with this I will ensure you that not only will it look good but it will also feel nice and plump so I love both of these primers right here and I cannot start raving about them next primer I'm gonna talk about is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer I absolutely freaking love 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 this primer right here i did actually a whole video on the infallible primers they came with two and also the powder i'll link that video down below if you guys are interested to, in seeing that but this is a mattifying primer which i was a little bit skeptical about since i have very very dry skin but this does not dry out my skin at all it actually is still very very hydrating but it keeps you from getting oily which is awesome especially during the summer because even though my skin is dry i will get a little oily in my t-zone or something so you know with the hot air and everything so this is nice because it will keep all that oil under control i think a lot of different skin types will like this um, it does kind of smooth out the skin too um, creates a really smooth canvas for your makeup on top so I think it's an amazing primer I love it and it works so well with so many different foundations and stuff and it just makes foundations look so much better and last a lot longer because it does control those oils from kind of seeping through so this is a great one as well from the drugstore um, they did come out with their glow lock primer it's a um great primer i'm not gonna say it's not it's an amazing dewy primer but if i had to choose between my wet mild and this one i'd probably go with wet mild one it's cheaper and i really like the um feel of this one on my skin all right next i have a long wearing primer so i'm trying to include um as many different types of primers in this video as i can because i know each different type uh does something different we have pore filling hydrating like so many different types of Primers. So I really really wanted to show you guys a bit of everything. So next is the Nivea Men Sensitive Skin After Shave Balm. Now if you have been watching YouTube for a long time, you will know when this product was raved about. I'd say a few years ago, probably like four years ago, this product was everything. Every YouTuber was using it. Everyone was using it as their primer and I still use this. I still love this stuff. 
if you guys were living under a rock during that period of time and never heard about this um, being used as a primer, it's actually very, very sticky. It creates a very sticky, tacky base for you to apply your makeup over and that way it does um, make your makeup last a very, very long time. This is the primer I always reach for when I need my makeup to last from morning till night and it works every single time. Um, and it does have like that cologne type smell to it but once you apply your foundation you can't smell it anymore the smell doesn't linger or anything which is awesome and I'm really really happy with it I have been using it forever it's an amazing one just make sure you kind of shake it up a little bit before and then I'll just take some on my fingers kind of um, smooth it on my skin and press it in with my fingers and it creates that tacky feel to it works well with a bunch of different foundations smooths out your skin for um, other products to go on on top and then sometimes I'll use it with like a pore filling primer if I need to but if you're looking for a very long lasting primer that's affordable and I guess kind of at the drugstore because you'd find this at the drugstore then this is a an amazing one definitely don't be nervous to try it as a primer it's worth a shot I really love it and so many other people do as well all right so one more primer to talk about and this is the elf uh this doesn't say anything on it I believe this is the elf beautifully bare primer the packaging kind of intrigued me of this it kind of reminded me of summer and stuff and I got this actually a few months ago and I've been testing it out here and there if you are looking for an amazing hydrating primer when your skin looks a little beat up and you just want something to kind of refresh again to kind of have a smooth base to your face this is an amazing primer and I will ensure you that you'll love it when I just want you know a very simple makeup day when I just want my foundation to look smooth and nicely applied and my skin is looking a little dry or something this is the primer I will reach for because it just hydrates and everything like that and I absolutely love that about it so it's a great one from the drugstore if you are looking for one the only thing I don't like about this is the smell it has that like play-doh like smell to it which I don't like at all but I kind of try to look past that since the formula on it is really great and I do end up using it a lot so that is all the primers I have to share with you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video found it helpful or anything like that if you are looking for some drugstore primers these are some great ones to start with and if you guys have tried any drugstore primers that you love and I didn't mention in this video make sure to leave them down below and I will definitely have to give those a try but anyways thank you guys so much for watching um please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to ring the notification notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video but I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys